We all know games can sometimes have hidden endings, but what about when they are so hidden most people never see them? Hi folks, it's Falcon and today on Game Ranks, 10 game endings almost no one has seen. Just as a quick disclaimer for this video, we are talking about legitimately seeing the ending, not like looking it up on YouTube. You can do that with just about anything. We're saying earning the ending and seeing it because of that. Starting off at number 10, it's Shadow of the Tomb Raider's alternate post credit scene. Yes, there is a different ending to Shadow of the Tomb Raider depending on if you downloaded the day one patch or not. These days, most people get the patch before even starting the game, especially if you're on a platform like Steam where it would be built into the game's download. Pretty much the only people who could see this were players who either got the game early or who had the physical disc of the game. And just to be completely clear, the differences are extremely minor unless you are a big Tomb Raider fan. The original scene saw Lara sitting at a desk and it pans over to a little Easter egg drawing of some dinosaurs and a pyramid, which are things from the original Tomb Raider game. But in the pre-patched version of the ending, there were much more explicit references. Lara gets a letter from Natla, the original villain in the first game. We also see her dual pistols. Some minor things here, but the few people who saw this ending probably thought they were going crazy when they heard people describe the ending that pretty much everybody else got. So I don't know exactly why the developers changed this scene at the last minute. Uh, it's possible that the references were a little bit too overt, but even if it was unintentional, having an ending that secret feels very appropriate for a Tomb Raider game. Moving on to number nine, it's Metal Gear Solid 5's nuclear disarmament ending. Probably the most well-known ending on this list, but if you're someone who saw this thing legitimately, then you're part of an elite few. For years, it was something that a lot of people really thought was gonna be totally impossible to get. As part of the multiplayer portion of Metal Gear Solid 5, you could build these bases called FOBs as well as nuclear weapons. You couldn't actually use the nukes, they were more like things that made it harder for players to invade your bases, but it was a strong incentive to build these things if you wanted to do well in the multiplayer game. Now, players hungry for secrets dug through the system files in the game and not soon after launch discovered an ending that you could only get if everyone disarmed their nukes. You don't get it if it's just you disarming the nuke you built. Literally everyone in the multiplayer platform you're on has to do that. There are only two times this ending has ever been triggered in game. Once on PC by a glitch and much, much later by a dedicated base of PS3 players who got together and actually removed all nukes from their servers. And it was basically possible because the PS3 player base was the smallest. It was the platform where this was the most possible and it took years of effort and coordination for players to actually do it. Now, the ending has been seen and been known about for years at this time, but it's still an impressive feat of coordination to finally get it to trigger for real. At number eight is Fallout New Vegas's Dead Money DLCs taking over the Mojave with holograms. Now, Fallout New Vegas is a game with a ton of different possible endings, but many of the big ones are pretty obvious. Depending on whether you side with the New California Republic, Caesar's Legion, Mr. House, or you go independent, it can majorly affect how the ending will play out, and most people know that, but one of the stranger, more secret endings in the game can only be found if you play through the Dead Money DLC add-on. It is incredibly obscure and difficult to activate, and most players to this day don't even know that it's possible. Normally, most of the endings for Dead Money involve locking the bad guy Father Elijah in the vault with the gold and technology he wants so badly. But if you do a few very specific things before the final confrontation with him, you can actually join him instead of stopping him. Basically, you really need the NCR to hate the living hell out of you, and you have to complete the companion Veronica's personal quest, and then ask everything about Father Elijah and the Brotherhood of Steel. Then, when you're actually in the DLC, you need to be nice to Elijah when you talk to him and do what he says, and say exactly the correct things during the final conversation. If you do everything right, it will show a cutscene where Elijah destroys the Mojave with an army of holograms. The fact this is something you can do is awesome, but it is so incredibly obscure. And number seven is the Running Dinosaur game. Let's talk about something stupid. Here's a game you'll never see the end of because it's not super secret or hidden or even because it's hard. Instead, it's a game that only ends after 17 million years of playtime. Yes, that's right. I'm talking about the Google Chrome Running Dinosaur game. This is the game that was created by Sebastian Gabriel in 2014, and it can be accessed when you are offline in Google Chrome by hitting the spacebar. 
There's also a Google Chrome extension that you can install to just play it at any time. And the game itself is actually surprisingly enjoyable, but the game only ends after 17 million years of playtime, which you are not going to achieve as a person. 17 million years is about as long as the Tyrannosaurus Rex even existed on the planet at all. And who even knows if there actually is an ending or if it's just the developers playing around, given the coincidental nature with the fact that the Tyrannosaurus Rex was around for 17 million years. Because it's an online game, they can keep the ending totally hidden away or they could just update it later when the required playtime is hit but considering how ludicrous that requirement is i think it's safe to say we're just never gonna see that ending and number six is the saboteur a crazy one i had no idea about it's a game i played for years and i've only just now hearing about this the fact that you can kill the bad guy during the flashback sequence of the game and trigger an early ending mind-blowing what Pulling it off is about as unintuitive as you get. Instead of just following the checkpoints like you're supposed to, you instead jump ahead on a flat gun and start blasting trucks so you can unlock the machine guns for your car. Now, like In this game, you get upgrades for completing certain tasks. So if you destroy enough trucks, you'll unlock some built-in machine guns for your car. Sounds simple enough, right? See, here's the thing. At this point, you basically have no weapons. You got a few NPCs with you. They die easy if they're caught in the crossfire and finding the right gun to get on is not easy. If you do manage to pull it off, then you just need to play through the game up until the race. And instead of letting the bad guy win like he normally would, you just blast him with the guns until his car explodes. Now you just watch the credits and pat yourself on the back for how clever you are. It's pretty cool that developers even realized this was possible and put in an ending for it, even though barely anyone actually did it. And number five is the Fez 64 Cubes ending. We were thinking of putting the Secret Stars from Braid on this list, but at, we realized there was another indie game out there with an even more insane secret ending requirement, uh, and it's Fez. This game is normally a pretty intuitive puzzle game about flipping the world around on a 3D plane where different perspectives make it so that it's possible to solve puzzles. Nothing too wild about the regular 32 cubes you find in the main game either, but you have to start hunting for 32 anti-cubes and things start to get obscure very fast. For some of these, you have to solve a cipher and input certain directions in specific areas. For others, you gotta find invisible blocks to jump on in random locations. And there's one that's just absolutely ridiculous where you have to be at this clock tower at a specific time, which by the way, that time changes depending on when you downloaded the game. There's four anti-cubes here, one that appears after one minute, one after an hour, one in a day, and the last one only appears once every week. So better make sure you timed that that one right finding all this stuff is just all around hard but beyond that is time consuming and confusing and the actual ending really isn't worth the effort it's basically for puzzle masochists the rest of us yeah i haven't done this and i'm not gonna also the regular ending is is better than the quote-unquote good ending you get from this and number four is sunless seas uttermost east like this is an indie game that's all about mysteries you explore this strange world called the undersea and it's filled with hostile creatures and strange events that'll at best leave you confused and at worst make you go totally mad it is a confusing and incredibly punishing game but if you stick with it there are a few possible endings you can get most of them have pretty clear goals like establishing a colony becoming a famous explorer getting rich and retiring but one of them is just way way more complex we're talking about the uttermost east ending and it involves doing just a ton of bizarre unintuitive things you pretty much have to ruin your character to pull it off like you bring them to the brink of insanity destroy all their stats and then you can get the ending along with finding some very obscure items and exploring the most dangerous areas of the game of course and there is a lot of it pulling this off requires a ton of patience and time all of which can possibly be lost in seconds if you're not too careful but the real draw of this game is exploration and finding interesting stories so pulling this thing off it's a truly epic task and at the end of the day the actual ending pretty anticlimactic but it's one of the game's biggest challenges and it's pretty impressive to actually pull off and number three is payday 2's nearly impossible secret ending did you even know the game had an ending if you finish the white house heist it'll trigger this ending cut scene where one of the main heisters named bane dies and the rest of the crew quit their thieving ways it seems like the end, but the developers hid a massive and truly elaborate secret that unlocks an alternate ending. 
It's totally mad. And the steps to get it make a Call of Duty Easter egg look like child's play. To even start this thing, you need a ton of trophies from other heists in your safe house, which you need to interact with in a certain way to unlock the ability to start this. To make things even more confusing, you have to read a substitution cipher, which tells you the achievements that you have to complete to be allowed to perform the Easter egg. Worst thing, it's all random. There is no definitive list of achievements. They are picked at random. They're different for every player. So you're gonna have to actually figure out the cipher and finish whatever achievement it wants you to do. Actual Easter egg, just as crazy. There's a secret cave under the White House where you have to solve ever more obscure puzzles while fighting off demons. And oh yeah, it can only be done with four players and if anyone disconnects, they cannot join up again. When it comes to secret Easter eggs in games, this one's gotta be one of the most elaborate and difficult. The ending is almost worth the effort too, showing that Bane has somehow replaced the President of the United States. And number two is embracing the void in Hollow Knight. There's an ending that barely anyone was seen, not because it's secret or hard to find, it's just incredibly, unbelievably hard. The last free DLC update to Hollow Knight included God Home, a place where you can participate in increasingly difficult boss rushes. To unlock this ending, you have to complete all five pantheons, which sounds pretty straightforward, but these things are merciless. Just the first one, the Pantheon of the Master, has you fight 10 bosses in a row with only two resting spots for all of them. And there's four boss rushes like that. Those are pretty damn tough, but the final, final challenge, the Pantheon of Hollow Nest, you fight 42 bosses in a row. There is no saving either. If you die at any point, this gauntlet will make you go to the start and do it again. A complete playthrough takes over an hour, so if you get close to the end, that is a lot of lost progress. Most players say it's their nerves that kill a run more than some of the bosses, but either way, it's a truly epic challenge that only a very dedicated player could ever hope to actually achieve. And finally, at number one, Dudonpachi Saide Oju, the Inbachi ending. Please excuse any pronunciation there. This is the ultimate challenge. It's a game that's been around for almost 10 years. And as far as I am aware, no one has actually succeeded in completing its ultimate challenge. It's a shoot 'em up game, you know, the kind where you pilot a little ship, patterns and ways of enemies and auto-scrolling levels. The most difficult versions of these types of games are sometimes described as bullet hells, and that is exactly what this game is. To even reach this secret boss, it is almost impossible. You have to do a no-miss, no-bomb run for the entire game and a bunch of other super difficult requirements. There's only one player we've ever seen beat this thing on YouTube, but they were only able to do it as a tool assisted speed run. So they mapped out their movements using a program and even had to lower the game's frame rate to 10 frames per second on top of that. When it comes to an ending no one has seen, this is both very obscure in terms of the fact that it is an obscure game, but it's also unbelievably hard. It's one game I'm not sure anyone has actually beaten the secret boss to and seen the ending, legitimately at least. And that's all for today. Have you beaten any of these games? Leave us a comment, let us know what you think. If you like this video, click like. If you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every day of the week. Best way to see them first is of course a subscription, so click subscribe. Do not forget to enable all notifications. And as always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon, you can follow me on Twitter, Falcon the Hero. We'll see you next time right here on Game Ranks.